Hi, this is Sergio Suarez, and we're here at Los Comales de Elgin in Illinois. I'm going to give you guys a brief overview of the Open Bravo software and the enhancements that we've made to it and how it applies in a real life setting like here, a fast food Mexican restaurant. I'll start off by showing you our setup. Um, basically what we have is a computer that you see there on the bottom and cash drawer, a uh, basic touch screen with uh, a swiper attachment and a receipt printer. And we also have another here and at the bottom you can see that it also has a computer hooked up to it. There are three uh, kitchen printers in total. One is here at the first cooking station and there's another one to the left uh, for the second cooking station. Also over to the right we have the beverage area and inside of the beverage area is also another kitchen printer. We have another station here. Again it's just the basic computer, touch screen, and running the Open Bravo software. We also have a wireless tablet here in the back where the girls also input orders. So in total we have four registers, two of which are charging and two of which are only for inputting, along with the regular handheld tablets that run the Android software. Well, now that we have a basic understanding of the setup that we have here at Los Comales, um, we'll go over more of the software. This is the main screen you'll see here. We'll pretend this is a touch screen even though it's not. Um, we have all the employees here. And if you click on an employee's name, you could input a number password if you wanted or you could bring out a whole keyboard here that we wrote up that you could use as well. Or, as we're going to do right now, you can just swipe um, your access card. So we're in. The first thing you'll notice is that we have four different floors. Uh, we have one that we use for deliveries here. Uh, we have one for restaurant floor, which is the exact layout of our restaurant upstairs. Uh, a floor for telephone orders and one for to-go orders. The difference between the to-go orders and the telephone orders is that the to-go orders are paid for before they are sent to the kitchen. When the order is paid, it automatically prints to the kitchen. Telephone orders are printed as soon as you click the kitchen button or you leave the ordering screen. The next thing you'll notice is that some of these tables get names on them. For example, we have a Jose Napoles here. Um, and you'll see that there's an order in here. Uh, the boxes around them, like this Jose Nopales, it'll change in size as the name is longer or um, you want more info on there. Um, but it's completely dynamic, so um, that will always be sent. We'll go ahead and go inside of one of these tables and show you the thing about the delivery. And that's that the name appears in the top left hand corner as well as the table number and the time that it was entered. This information also shows up on all of the receipts along with the address, phone number, um, any other information that you've inputted. And we'll go over how we input that and how this gets to where it's at in a moment. Um, the receipts that print in the kitchen also have this information so the driver can take a receipt with him if it's a credit card sale and they need a signature they can take that it has the person's information already on there and makes deliveries a lot easier
One of the first things that we revamped was this customer database. We'll click it here. And you'll see that this is where his information is. You'll notice the keyboard that we made up. We have the person's address. Uh, and you can edit it. You can add whichever information you want. Or you could do it with the... If you have an external keyboard, you can do it that way. You just click OK. Cautions you, do you want to edit it? Yes, you do. And now that information is stored. Another one of the really crucial elements that we implemented was the ability to do combos while still allowing the subcategories to remain as items for stock purposes. So we'll go ahead and we'll go into the restaurant. We'll go into table 31, and we're going to do combos. Now, this is great for like a Chinese restaurant or uh, any sort of fast food restaurants that combine fries, Coke, and uh, food. Um, makes it a lot easier. So, we'll do combos. Uh, at this Mexican restaurant, they have eight combos. Um, number one is three tacos, rice, beans, and a drink. Number two is three tacos especial, which come with sour cream and avocado. We'll go ahead and use number one. And this pops up. Now, in this location, you have the choice of three separate meats. So you'll notice that on the side, you have a three, a two, and a one. You can choose two bistec and then one cecina. And, or... You could simply choose bistec, lengua, cecina, and it chooses for you. As you're choosing, you'll notice that these here will start not showing up anymore. So you see, it'll let you choose two, and now it doesn't let you choose. You come here, uh, you, they have the choice of um, arroz, frijoles, or arroz and frijoles, rice and beans. We'll say rice and beans. It comes with a drink, so we'll do the 32 ounce of Pepsi. And that's the way the combos are done. Um, it works with pretty much uh, anything. The burrito is the same way. A burrito, breakfast burrito, the chorizo, arroz y frijoles, Mountain Dew. And then it shows up here at the bottom with everything because it needs to print this way for the kitchen. So they realize that it's a number one so that they know that everything is going to go on one plate. And this way it's a taco al pastor. Taco de buche, taco de pollo, arroz y frijoles. And then this soda will get printed to the beverage printer. And the food gets printed to the kitchen printer. Whether it be kitchen one or two, and we get, we'll get more uh, f familiarized with that in a bit. Some of the other features that we added was the ability to go in and change any sort of the, we call them attributes. But basically, you can go to this taco al pastor, and you can tell it, no, cilantro. And you'll see that it's grayed out. Uh, and this is because if we wanted to put no cilantro or salsa, you could choose both. Click OK. And now the taco al pastor has no cilantro or salsa. And when it prints in the kitchen, uh, it's much easier to read like this. Because if you make a new line for every single thing, it gets a little confusing. So this makes it much easier for them. Um, you'll notice on this side you can do extras and add prices to them. For example, if this taco de pollo, if you wanted it with extra cheese, you could do extra and then queso, and it's a 50 cent extra. You could just do, and again, it makes you can choose. So it's only one, and now you click OK. It makes it a lot, a lot easier so that the girls don't have to continuously go from extra, choose one, and then uh, it would go away, and then they would have to come back, choose uh, uh, extra, what got the extra queso, and this way it makes it a lot easier to just be able to choose multiple things.